Well, look what we have here. Need to make a special thank you to my Papa Rich. You've even got the uh, branded cooler on the side filled with, of course, Northern Chill Water, which you can use my code Laura Farms 20 and get 20% off your order. Anyways, that's besides the point. Wanted to thank my Papa Rich for letting us use his golf cart at Husker Harvest Days. I really appreciate that. Love you, Papa. Nails don't get in the way of much at farming. Seriously, I really, they don't bother me. The one time they kind of get in the way is when I'm using really small ratchet straps. But that's really the only time. everybody welcome to uh, is this our third farm show of the year I think so or maybe yeah. maybe even fourth we went to the Kentucky Ag show we went to or like in Louisville right the National Farm Machinery oh, yeah. show and then we went to the Lincoln Ag show and then we went to Farm Progress show and now we are at Husker Harvest Days this farm show is very near and dear to Grant and I I've been attending this show I want to say since, say since I was probably two years old. Um, I've come here every single year since, um, and I'm very, very excited to see what the show has to offer this year. Another reason why going to farm shows is so fun for Grant and I, especially now, is because we get to share these experiences with you guys who may have not ever been to a farm show or never will get to attend a farm show. So, we get to go to these together. Not only do farm shows show um, new technology or pre-existing equipment that people can purchase, but they also do live demonstrations. So here we have a case combine and it looks like a new Holland tractor and they are doing a little harvest demonstration. You already know who's been we're on top of. Chief, we love you guys. This is this is probably the best view you could get of Husker Harvest Days, airily. Look at this. Finishing up the combine demo over there. Doing their last pass. Let's see here, what do we have? We've got the precision planning booth here. There's lots of permanent bins and buildings, all sorts of unique things. Looks like a pretty good turnout. See, now what did I say? We barely even stepped foot into the booth and Grant found one he wants. It's locked. Is it locked? Yeah. Now Grant, quick, you have to explain what you like so much about this truck and why you want it. I like it because it's white and it's long and it's Peterbilt and I don't have one. <laughs> oh my goodness. And here we go. Here's what it looks like. See, here's the problem. Grant, let's say it's his birthday. And I'll say, Grant, is there something I can get you for your birthday? And then he'll put things like this on his wish list. So for Christmas, he wants a, a dump trailer. He wants another dump truck. He wants another military truck and he wants this. I was thinking more in like the uh, new sweatshirt or new pair of shoes range, but I guess we'll see what we can do. As much as farm shows are about showing what's new with technology, they are as much about celebrating the history and the heritage and the legacy of some of the older model tractors that came before all this new technology. And uh, the last farm show we went to, I don't think we spent near enough time celebrating how cool these older models are. So. We're gonna take you on a little uh, old track tour here. Look at this. 
It's John Deere 720. It's only got one tire in the front. It's a different kind of three-wheeler than it's I It's a three-wheeler. <laughs> different than the, uh, the Hondas. Look at this, okay. What do we have here? From Hampton, Nebraska. That's low That's fuel. Do you guys have a 3020, don't you? You have a 3020? Yeah, this, I think this one's propane. Yeah, this one's propane. Your guys' is diesel. Look at that. Yeah, we have a 3020 and we have a 4020 on our farm. And then we also have, let's see, I don't think they have a farm all like ours, but I believe we have an H series farm all in our farm. Ooh, I like this one over here. Turbo. Look at that. And here I complain if the AC isn't working very well on my tractor. Look at the seat on this thing. Hours and hours were spent in this seat. It's got like a sickle mower on it. Unbelievable. I am so, so spoiled with what I have today. Do you guys remember when we were on our way to Hawaii and we had that layover in Arizona and we stopped and we saw that giant like classic car show square body thing? We were finding all these things that we wanted to buy. We were like, oh man, we're so far out of state. There's no way we'd get them home. Grant, I found one close to home. And it's for sale. And it's red. Cusker red. Yeah. I think we need it. I think I happen to know the guy who owns this. He might even give us a small deal. I don't know. As you guys know, our Miller's dead to the world right now. But we're working on getting the uh, engine remanned currently. So while I, I can't small, yet right? afford one of these new ones, hopefully our old one, 4315, will be back in action soon. I love my John Deere tractors. However, an all black tractor, that's something that I think is kind of cool. Check out the tires on this thing too. LSWs. Now, we run a row crop operation. So we usually have tires that fit between our 30 inch rows. Those things are kind of cool though, you have to admit, right? So you want to know the only thing better than LSW's on a case tractor? LSW's on a John Deere tractor. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Now, this is a farm rescues tractor and is actually like a, a working man's tractor, but Let's see if we can get a feel for uh, what this tractor would feel like, huh? Out in the, do you think we do you think we should invest in some LSWs? I don't know. I, I want to know what the audience we thinks. We do like our we like farming on the old roads, so. No, but they look so cool, Grant. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Oh, Grant, this is dangerous is for me. Look at, I would take up the entirety of the gravel road here. That's, Look behind me. That's a lot of tire. That is so much tire. Do you know how much compaction we'd be getting rid of if we had these tires? What can it I do might, to convince you? I might smash you? my rose down, though. I'm a little concerned. What could I do to convince you? Do you think, I mean, uh... I might just have to try something. You think Titan Scott could convince you? You know that one guy that was on the Welkers, he was with the Larsons, all of them, cool. He's been helping them out. Scott, he's back there in the blue shirt. I bet he could convince you. Maybe so, I don't know. I feel, I feel so cool up in here, Grant. You like this tractor? Oh, man. This has me excited for grain cart. This has me excited for harvest. I'm ready to get back in the field. Come here, come show Grant. Look. Can you show me a fire holder? 
Look at this. Turn around. Turn We're so matching. So Here. See it. Look at this. <laughs> we got matching fire holders. <laughs> How fun is that? <laughs> oh my gosh. It is so nice to meet you, sir. Okay, let's get another picture so we yeah? can have a re redo it. Yes, and we got one. <laughs> Husker Harvest Days this year has been an absolute blast. It is always a joy getting to meet and talk to fans in person. We got to see some really cool exhibits. I don't know. Grant, what was your takeaway? Uh, it was awesome. I love Husker Harvest Days. It was so fabulous to meet everyone this year. Um, thanks for watching today's video. If you haven't already subscribed, and we'll see you next time. Stay tuned for big things coming.